It's Sybil Wilkes with what you need to know. Today is Friday, June 5th, 2020. Number one. The homegoing services paying tribute to the life of George Floyd have begun. Yesterday, the state of Minnesota paid its respects where Reverend Al Sharpton delivered the eulogy. Saturday, family and friends will say their goodbyes in his home state of North Carolina. Public viewing, funeral, and burial are scheduled for Monday and Tuesday in Houston, Texas. George Floyd was killed Memorial Day as a former Minneapolis policeman put his knee to Mr. Floyd's neck. Number two, New Orleans Saints quarterback Drew Brees has issued an apology after saying during a recent interview that he would never agree with anybody disrespecting the flag during the upcoming NFL season. Unfortunately, there are many Drews in this world who still cannot comprehend why we protest or why we kneel. But Brees is right about one thing. We have a long way to go. So now that you've apologized, Drew, what's next for you? Number three. George Floyd tested positive for the coronavirus in a new autopsy report released Thursday. Chief Medical Examiner Dr. Andrew Baker said Floyd was likely asymptomatic and was not related to his death. An autopsy report by an independent pathologist hired by the Floyd family said he died as a result of compression on his neck and back from the officer, which blocked his blood flow and breathing. Number four, billionaire businessman Robert Johnson is looking for reparations for slavery in the amount of $14 trillion. The concept of reparations has been a topic for decades, often dismissed or relegated to the station of fantasy. When those with the platform and the credibility to back it up not only speak on it, but support it, it gives life to a subject very worthy of consideration and execution. Number five, NBA Hall of Famer Wes Unseld passed away this week at the age of 74. The man known as the Wide U was a standout on the court as a player, on the sidelines as a coach, and in the front office as general manager of his beloved Washington Bullets, and now the Washington Wizards. CP Times' Chris Paul pays tribute to the smart and hardworking basketball giant of his youth. And that's what you need to know. For more information, please go to SybilWilkes.com and sign up for my free newsletter. Be informed, be empowered.